Hey guys, Reagan here for another Gigster tutorial. Today, we're going to be looking at how hosts can edit and send custom rates. Before you can send a custom rate, you're going to need to receive a booking request from a renter. Once you receive a booking request, you'll receive an email, a text message, and if you're logged into the app, a notification on the top of the screen. So now when I go up and click into my notifications, I see I have a new message from Allison. When I click into the notification, it's going to take me straight to the booking chat. From here, I can read about the details of her inquiry, respond to her request, and of course, send a custom rate. So I've gone ahead and sent her a message. Now I'm going to send her a really enticing custom rate. And to do that, I just go up and click on the big green button. That's going to open a pop-up where I can now edit the details of my custom offer. I can edit the dates, the shoot length, the cast and crew size, the total price, as well as any custom fees that will be required. I can also add an addendum for anything I would like added to the official location agreement. When everything looks good, I click send, and now I've sent my custom rate to Allison. So now the ball is back in her court, and assuming she agrees to your custom rate, the booking is officially approved. So once the rate is sent, you can click in and read the details. From here, you can cancel the custom rate, as well as view the location agreement for the booking. When I click location agreement, I'm going to see another pop up and here I can read all the nitty gritty details of the contract. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, I can see the items that I added in the addendum. And of course you can make this as long or as short as you would like. I can also download a copy of the location agreement from the screen as well as print a paper copy. If you realize you've made a mistake and can't move forward with the booking, all you need to do is click on cancel custom rate and leave a short reason for the cancellation. And just to reiterate, you can only do this before the renter accepts your custom rate. Once they approve, it's locked in and you need to uphold that commitment. So you should always double check your calendar and be extra sure you're available before sending a custom rate. And that's pretty much it. If anything was unclear or you'd just like a little bit of extra help sending a custom rate, you can always call into our team during business hours and we'd be happy to walk you through the process. Thanks again for watching, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe below for all the latest and greatest in the world of filming locations.